But what is bonding? Uh, bonding usually goes by several names in the industry, like hair replacement, be it hair system, a lot of terms referring to the same thing. You probably heard and maybe have this old way of thinking and are imagining those old toupees and some sort of a obvious fake hair pieces. But these days you probably wouldn't even know if you've seen something in person. I don't know, would you even know that I'm wearing now something? Most people couldn't. It's really natural looking, the hair is human hair, it blends well. If you do it correctly and do all the steps correctly, nobody should have to know. So what exactly is bondable hair or hair bonding? To put it simply, it will be a hair piece just like this, human hair made on some sort of a base. Uh, this is mesh base or called lace. So this is a lace that is having each strand of hair tied into it. Uh, what makes it bondable is the fact that you can put the adhesive on the very perimeter and you can put either tape or the glue. The size of the system is something that you decide based on your uh, progression of the hair loss. It is best to start smaller if your hair loss is just in the beginning stages and then progressively expand the size of the base. So bonding will require for you to shave some of the hairs that you are having. Yes, there I said it, you have to trim down the area of the hair that you want to replace. So you are replacing the hair that you don't want anymore, it's not serving you, for the better hair. It is uh, at that stage where you are ready and you are not expecting for the hair to get any better, you are okay with the hair loss and you accepted that the hair loss is just something that you have and it's something that is irreversible. So you have to be at that stage to actually have bonding work for you. So why are we shaving the area that we, where we want to bond? It is because uh, that very material, be it lace or poly, uh, it needs to have the surface where it attaches to. And to achieve the best bond, you have to have the surface that it can grab onto. So if it's not there, if you have a lot of hair that is going across and the tape or glue cannot really get the hang of the scalp, this is where the bond will get loose. And you just won't get the same strength of attachment as you would with the bare skin. That is the main reason why we are doing this. Bonding is something that gives you the freedom to wear hair 24-7. It acts like your own bio hair when done correctly and you can just wear it just as your own hair, wake up with it, do sports, exercise, anything. You shower with it, it acts just like your own hair. With bonding, you usually attach the unit onto your head for the time of few days up to few weeks. The time will pretty much depend on your body chemistry and your experience in attaching the unit. With time, you will find out which tapes are working for you and your skin. You will find which are the best methods to get the best bond. And like with anything, by testing out, you will find out what is the best combination for your best bond. How you get the hair piece uh, in the first place? Usually hair pieces are done by custom order. That is my best recommendation. So something like that, where first you need to take the head measurements and you can do the head mold. It's like a template where you actually put the cell tape and the plastic film around your head to take exact shape of your head, which will then allow for the best fit 
for the hairpiece. Then after that is done, you would take the marker and just mark the area that you want the hairpiece to sit. This will be the size of the hairpiece and you will then take this number and choose who will be creating the unit for you. The salon can do this for you if you are paying the salon, but it's not hard to do it on your own. You can send it directly to one of the Chinese manufacturers and they can create this for you. You will usually need to wait for a couple of weeks or even months to get this created custom made. So take that into consideration when uh, ordering something so you have it on time. How many do you need per year or how long does one of these hair pieces last? There is not a definite answer and there is no most correct answer to that question. It could be anywhere from three months to even a year. It depends uh, how you treat it. It depends on the quality of the hair piece itself. What is the cost of maintenance and just the general cost of wearing bonded hair? It goes way down if you are doing the whole procedure by yourself. And this is what I'm teaching. Uh, you can do it at home and this will cut the cost pretty significantly down. It will only cost you for some of the basic supplies, which will end up to be $50 a month, even less depending what you choose and how much you're using and what is the frequency of your reinstallments. The biggest part would be the hair itself, so the hair unit. Uh, that also depends on the size of the unit, on the hair length and the construction. Sometimes some bases are more expensive than the others. Hair piece can cost from like $300 up to a thousand. It will depend who you are going with and if you are ordering directly from manufacturer or you are going through some of the international resellers.